Jam uh, Jamal, Mike, Casey, like everybody who played, contributes, on, and it, it, it's a great win for us. Nikola Jokic, man, uh, I, I think that he is solidifying his status as the best player in the game right now, Paul. I think it's I think it's okay to say that. I think it's uh, becoming pretty clear. Um, I, I want to start having the conversation and just thinking about and considering, and I understand how early in this this is for him, especially while we're still watching somebody who happens to be in this conversation play at a really high level in LeBron James. Nikola Jokic, I think, Paul, it is very fair to put his current trajectory to be in the conversation as the greatest basketball player of all time. Now, that that is such a – and that's not like me trying to have like a hot take topic that's sure to be – you know, to get people fired up. I think it's just very interesting, quite frankly, and something to at least start thinking about because it's it's it is happening right i think it like we've got to acknowledge statistically these things are happening right now when we consider denver's consistently in the playoffs and now if they get this first title i mean this is a denver team paul that feels like it could get a couple two three whatever what's it going to take do you think for jokic to enter that conversation in general because statistically you know if this continues, he will be there. His best season, which was probably last year individually, 27 points a game, just under 14 rebounds, eight assists, one and a half steals. You know, that that's statistically his best. That season offensively is better than any offensive season Jordan or LeBron had. Okay. So Jordan had a season early in his career where he averaged 37 points a game right, in 1986. Uh, the rebounds and the assists weren't there for him yet. And then later in his career, and I don't know which season you think was Jordan's best. They were all so good. I mean, he was consistently over yeah. 30 points. How do you choose? Uh, you could probably take 92, 93, right, where he was just under 33 and then had about seven rebounds, five and a half assists, and almost, th and almost three steals a game. Of course, Jordan was an elite defender, as is LeBron. Um or in LeBron, certainly in his career. LeBron, probably you go back to the Cavs team, his final year in Cleveland, 27 and a half points a game, just under nine rebounds uh, and nine assists. But again, you know, Jokic has essentially averaged now a triple double. I mean, that's what's nuts. But like he's there scoring. Uh, you know, he's not the the killer as an as a scorer that those guys were. He's as gifted a passer as we've ever seen, especially from a big man, which you've talked about. And he's naturally going to haul in a lot of rebounds because he's huge. Like, I think, Paul, if if they can get this championship, and it'll probably take two, three more after that, I, I think we're seeing a player who's very capable of entering that conversation, don't you? Or, or is that – am I off on that? No, well, yeah, you're a little bit off. I, I, I like the question. I guess the question – that you're proposing is what's it going to take for him to be considered? Where is he at? What's he? What's it going to take for him to become that? Right. That not saying he's there now. No. But well, of course he's not there. Well, I looked it up. He's got right just a little over twelve thousand career points right now. So, and I don't mean to to be blunt or just simplistic with your question, but to be to be honest, what does he need? About another fourteen thousand points. All the triple double talk is great. It's wonderful. You know, rebounds. But he'll get to, there, Paul. I think. Well, I mean, I think if, as long point, as he's he, healthy, yes. as long as he's healthy, he's going to get there. Uh, I mean, that's. I, I don't worry as much about that stuff. I worry more about perception and legacy. Well, but that will get. But you asked, what will it take for him to get to that point? And it's points. We all look at points. Not just you and I. I mean, obviously, we look at points as well. But let's face it. Guys go to the Hall of Fame based upon how many points they scored. There's 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 a few guys in the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame that you know weren't what they would know, be known as scores. There were guys that were ball handlers. There were people that, that in in the past, particularly that played this game, that uh, weren't big scores. But those days are gone. You just asked me a question. What's it going to take to get him 
to the Hall of Fame, to be considered one of the great players of all time, uh, to be in that mix for, say, a top five player of, of all time in the NBA, I'm just telling you, I think it's fourteen to 15,000 more points. And, you know, you I, think I hate it's more to be about crass. titles than that, Paul. Well, don't you obviously, think it'd be more about ti- titles. I, I, I know, and, and I agree with that. But there's a lot of great players in, in, the, in the Hall of Fame that don't have a title. But a title in well, the right, NBA. Well, right, but they're not considered the greatest of all time. Well, you, well they're pretty good. Or Which is what I'm yeah. trying to, you know, I, I know he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Like, that. That's he's already a Hall of Famer. Okay. I'm not, uh, like, I, I mean to enough. be up there with LeBron and Jordan and Kobe and Magic and, you know, um, whoever, Larry Bird, Wilt Chamberlain, the, the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, like into that into that stratosphere. And if you want to talk about the GOAT stratosphere, I think mo- most people have that now as as Michael Jordan and, and LeBron James, and, and I think I probably do too. And I think it's it's you kind of have to separate the game a little bit and get into a modern era. But 28 years old, he's got to get to the titles pretty quickly, I think, Paul. That's correct. Um He's a big man, and I don't, you know, it, you never know. Like, is is he, you know, what LeBron does at at his age, at forty, is not a fair uh, comparison to make. Now, Dirk played very well a long time, but he slowed down at the end. So, we see big guys play well late in their careers, but you know, don't don't think that it's going to be like LeBron. You know, LeBron's Brady esque, where he looks as good as at forty mm-hmm. as he That's did right. at thirty. Right? That's not. That's not normal. Not normal. Jordan, I don't even think you. Jordan didn't. Not normal that. either. So, if that if that's not on the table, so let's assume that it's not. Then what is it? To, you know, he's he's twenty eight now. His his probable prime runs another I don't know seven eight years maybe. Probably. And in that, so if he gets one, if he get if he gets to, let's say he gets to three titles, Paul three. Um, if he gets to three titles. Is that enough? Is three titles enough? Because it's going to be about titles for that conversation. For LeBron has that four. conversation. Okay. LeBron has four. Jordan has what? Six, right? Six. That would be correct. Six. six. Yeah. So Jordan has six. LeBron has four. Uh, Jordan has five MVPs. LeBron, as far as MVPs, has four. Um, Jokic then has what he has is two, and he should have three probably. Although I'm okay with Embiid getting it this year, but he'll have more probably now if he wins a title, especially. I, I think if he gets to three, we can have the conversation. If he gets to four, you can absolutely have the conversation. And you know, I don't think anybody's going to think at this point Denver's going to win six titles. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's going to happen. They've got a very good team, but but that the NBA is too balanced right now for that to to happen, in my opinion. So is it three? If he gets to three titles, and and the statistics continue on their current trajectory, are <laughs> you going to be ready at that point to say it? Well, I guess I think he faces the challenge of not being American. And it will always be a challenge for him for you know people in this country to call him the goat. He's an international player. That you know that's tough, but. I, I don't know. I I think three is probably the number. Four would absolutely be a number. But I think if it's like one, two, I don't think anybody's ever going to be willing to do it. Well, I know the plane in which you're speaking and how you're you're and and what you're saying. But I'm just going to ask you a couple quick questions, just a one word answer. What do you call a guy who wins four NBA championships? What do you call that guy? Champion. Well, what do you call a guy that has one NBA championship? Champion. So the one championship gets him going, gets him, gets him checked off that that list. You are an NBA champion. I'm not so sure in the echelon that you're speaking of, and that we're talking about. You brought up Michael Jordan. You brought up uh, uh, some of the best names, some of the greatest names in the history of basketball uh, in your last conversation, and and I'm not sure that anybody will ever want to speak with, about you know Djokovic about him in that conversation. I'm not sure that people are going to do that no matter what. So getting the one the one championship is a great start. Now, if he runs off six or seven before his career's over, man, we're talking another whole ball game. But I think what what you're what you're saying and where do you need to go to be in those echelons, uh, I don't know that 
that this is going to be the case at all. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't have the feel. You know, you're playing in Denver. You're not in Chicago. You're not in Boston. You're not in L.A. I mean, you're, you're not LeBron James, now that's for sure. So, I mean, I'm not sure that, that we're ever going to really speak about uh, Djokovic uh, in, in terms of him being one of those guys. I don't. I think he has a shot at it, but I, I don't think so. I, ju- I just don't. I don't think he's going to have the points because he only got twelve thousand points now. Uh, rebounds, he's got six seven. I, I've already turned the page off. But I think six seven thousand rebounds. Uh, I don't know that he's ever going to get those master stats. And uh, see, I don't. I don't know that people pay as much attention in the really? NBA stats like that. Really? I know everybody's talked about. I I, I know everybody's talked about you know, LeBron and the scoring record, and that obviously has significance. He's not going to catch that. But I I don't – I mean, when you talk about Michael Jordan, Paul, does anybody ever, when they talk about Michael Jordan, talk about how many total points, rebounds, or assists he has? Well, but that's because we all know he's right up there and he's in the top three, four, five. We all – I don't have a clue where he is. I have legitimately now. Like, I have no idea – where Michael Jordan ranks statistically over his career. Don't have a clue, but I know he's got a bunch of championships, and I know we've never seen a better player in clutch moments. And so that that's what I think about when I put him in that conversation. Same thing with LeBron. Like, obviously, we know now he's in the store, but I don't know where he stacks up. I don't know what the top of that list looks like. I have no idea. I know that, though, when we talk about GOATs and— you know, if Bill Russell gets in there with his 11 titles, obviously nobody's ever getting to that again. But, when you know, Tim Duncan, if you consider him in there, has, I think, five. Kobe has five. Steph has four, right? Magic Johnson had five. Um, Kareem had six, if you want to put him in there, and you probably should. It, it's, it's just, it, it's, that's what it is in the NBA. It's that. And and goat is di- a little different too, because why do we call Tom Brady the goat? Do we call Tom Brady the goat, Paul, because he's the most gifted quarterback that's ever played the game, the most you know individually great, talented quarterback that's ever played the game? Mm-hmm. I got you. No, no, I mean, it's not why we call him the goat. I no. don't even know if he'd be in people's top ten of most physically gifted and, well, and you well, know like. Well, wait a second. He's got nearly eighty thousand yards of passing. Now that's not chopped liver, my friend. That's, that's not fair either, though, because the game has changed. How do you stack up what he did even against what you know? I don't know Dan Marino or Steve Young did. Like or they played different. Sid they Luckman. basically played. They, they played different I, games. I, I got but, you, but that's not. But, but that's titles, not nothing. That's not nothing. Eighty thousand. I'm not years. saying it's. Not, but but Jokic. Then what I'm saying is. Jokic is going to be statistically wherever he needs to be. I like he if if he continues on what we're talking about, all those stats are going to be there because he piles them up every year. So, like in betting, Paul, there's this there's this term called pra, p r a, right? In betting and, and player prop betting, and it's combined points, rebounds, and assists that you can bet players to go over. Like Jokic's p r a. Pra will be as high as anybody's. So I, I don't know. Like, that stuff's harder to quantify in basketball than it is w- how were they in the big moments. League MVPs is a little easier to quantify. But, man, in basketball, we quantify those championships. Yes, we do. And, and, and We quantify and, those championships. Yeah, and Tom Brady, that's, you know, when I think of Tom Brady, I do think of the 80,000 yards passing. I mean, I really do because that's that's almost unbelievable. I was You're, hoping – but, but, Paul, but you're I a think of the champion by trade. But yeah, I, you're in a historian by trade, right. though. Yeah. Well, like, you, know, that you have stuff, a point. You, you know, you, you run literal history museums for the sports world. It makes sense. I think in baseball, stats mean the most to us. Um, in, in football, totality of stats probably mean the least to us over a career. I think we pay attention to them in a season, but in a career, we don't look at the and in the NBA we don't either a whole lot. Baseball we do, right? But in in football in the NBA, especially in the NBA, right? Cuz only 5 guys play at a time. It's about those titles. And Jokic will have the stats, he'll have the accolades, he'll have the MVPs. The only thing he doesn't have is titles. He looks like he's got a pretty good shot to get the first one. And then it becomes how many can you get after that? And I think if he gets to three or four, 
Maybe four is the number because that's where Steph is and Kobe and LeBron are ahead of that. Like, maybe it's four. If he gets to four, I think that we will be having the conversation of him being in that goat rarefied air, which is crazy to think about. But it only takes that first championship, I think, to start getting that sort of consideration. Now, if he only gets one, right, then it's not going to happen. Um, I, I, I'm, I, I don't know. And something else that a lot of these players, you know, when we talk about Mike and LeBron and Kobe did later in their careers is become all-world defenders, right? They all became such great defenders. Maybe that element of Jokic's game can still come to. And look, I don't, his, I think, I think defense for him is a little harder to, you know, to visually see than it is for guards because guards can just get out there and be on the ball the whole time. But, you know, rebounding is a part of defense, right? So I, I don't know, but I, I love it. I love that we've got it. I love that it's sort of snuck up on us, which is crazy to think about because he's a two time MVP, maybe should be three time MVP. And Denver's had really good teams that have been a bit snake bitten until this year. But man, you know, I had our buddy Bruce Hurdle on with me. Uh, last weekend on CBS Sports Radio to sort of ask that question, like, is he the greatest player in the world right now? And and Bruce's answer was pretty emphatically yes. And and I think he's right. But I think, you know, here's the other part of that question, Paul. What would we think of Jokic if he was a Nick or a Laker? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Well, that would be a whole different story, wouldn't it? And by the way, we love Bruce Hurdle. I love Bruce Hurdle. But he's also stationed in Denver right now. He no, sees, I know. That's he, why I wanted his perspective, though, because I know yeah. he's not gonna he's not gonna blow smoke on that. He's he's got too much pride in what he does to do that. But I think the point is, like, we've been seeing this and have known this for a couple of years right. now. Everybody else hasn't, and I think being in Denver has something to do with it. I think being international has something to do with right. it. Right. I mean, you know, Giannis fought it a little bit, Paul, when he was going ballistic. And that's the other thing, too. Let's let's be clear about this. Like, this isn't a foregone conclusion. We were having these conversations about Giannis, Paul, and we don't anymore. Why? Because they have just the one title, right? right? And, like, Might be. That's, yep. that's why. That's okay. why. Because statistically, Giannis was right there with anybody. Right. By the way, Michael Jordan, number five all-time score, uh, 32,000 points. He's still 6,000 behind. LeBron James. But you know something? You, you've kind of made a good point because Dirk Nowitzki, uh, number six all-time scorer, Wilt Chamberlain, who was who, who won what? One? Or was it just one or maybe no? Uh, uh, no NBA championships, number seven all-time scorer. And, you know, we don't talk about him. We talk about him dominating. We talk about him changing the game. But we don't talk about him in terms of a LeBron James or a, a, or a Michael Jordan, do we? We really don't. And uh, so, you know something? You may actually be on to something. I, I, I'm pained to say that. Jad, don't think less of me. But I think Jacob's on to something here, maybe. I'm, and, and don't misunderstand what I'm saying either. Like, I am not saying he's there right now. I'm well, saying no, I, he can't be. that no, if I know he can that. get no. one, I know. we can see a path to it. Right? Well, we can see start a, a path, path at to least. getting there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's what I think is... Something to watch and, like, file away and remember about watching this series, if Denver ultimately gets it, remember, you can remember it as perhaps that moment where one of the GOATs really took off in that legacy. Because it always starts with titles, right? right? right. And, and that's an interesting thing, I think, about the series that I don't want to overlook. The other interesting thing individually in the series, we asked this question yesterday, Jimmy Butler. We're never going to consider him as a GOAT, but could he enter the conversation as one of the great killers, right? One of the great, you know, clutch, whatever that thing is that we have a really hard time defining that LeBron and Kobe were so great at. Could Jimmy Butler get into that conversation? Well, he better pick Maybe. it up if that's the case. He, but better, he better pick, pick it, it up. up. We'll talk about his part of it as we continue to roll on on Sports Daily. 